everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new release from Dolce & Gabbana to review. It is their new Q perfume in the intense version. Um, so I'm going to be letting you know what this smells like and how it compares to the original Q. Hello, welcome, I'm all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this, going through whole ranges, new releases. I'll leave the links to my other Dolce & Gabbana videos down below, along with where you can get this. I got this from Look Fantastic, where you can get up to 25% off everything with my code LFTFSOKI. And I'll also leave the links where you can get this all around the world. And if you are a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And you can of course check out my fragrances, Empress Aphrodite and my super concentrated slow wax candles, all available worldwide shipping on my website, SoakyLondon.com. Cool, so Dolce & Gabbana is a brand that I actually really like in general. They're a Sicilian brand and my boyfriend is Sicilian and I love the patterns that they use and the lemons and the blues. I, I love the brand, so I'm always was intrigued when they released a new perfume. Last year they released the Q Eau de Parfum and I have to say it was one of the most disappointing releases of the year for me. So they already had their K perfume for men, I guess it's like king and queen, and when it came out it was really heavily publicised as a cherry fragrance. Cherry fragrances are so popular at the moment and I couldn't wait to try it. And basically I sprayed it and I bought, I think I bought the 30 mil, which was 70 pounds. I got like some lemon opening notes and then I just got this cedar wood and as it dried down, it just was like this weak cedar wood. It performed like an eau de toilette, did not perform like an eau de parfum. And I didn't get any cherry, sweet, fruity notes at all. So it was just like a massive disappointment. I thought it was a big rip off, like really poor value for money. And I was just so disappointed I gave away my bottle. I think I did say at the time, I hope they do an intense version and they have. So I did predict that. So I couldn't wait to see if this was gonna be the perfume I wanted the original to be. And I personally think that that is what this is. This is kind of what I expected the original to smell like. So it does have a black cherry note in it, which is very unusual in perfume. I can only think of one other black cherry perfume, which is the Kayali Burning Cherry one. So this does have a deep, wintry black cherry in. It is not a fresh fruity cherry, it's not a sweet cherry. It is deep, but I do smell cherry, yay! The other notes in here are heliotrope and amber. So there's none of the woodiness that I got from the original. Instead, it's quite warm, cozy, and heliotrope has, it's not spicy, but it does have like an edge to it, which is quite hard to describe. And heliotrope is known for being quite good at for lasting in perfumes. Now, I have to say, like I've been wearing this today and I can smell it on myself, it has stayed on clothes. I wouldn't say it was an eau de parfum intense. It feels more like an eau de parfum. So don't be put off if you don't want something heavy. Don't be put off by the intense word. And I think lovers of heliotrope or lovers of cherry would definitely benefit from trying this. So it's definitely like a much better perfume than the original. One thing I did feel about both the original and this is that I feel like they're quite unisex fragrances. It doesn't feel overly feminine and neither did the original. Original. So I feel like by calling it Q, like Queen, they've limited it and sort of marketed it as a feminine perfume when really it could be, it's, it's unisex and gender neutral in my view. Fans of Heliotrope should definitely try this, like some of the Narcissa Rodriguez ones that are very Heliotrope, I think you'd like this. It's definitely got more personality, it's more interesting and you can actually smell it after like an hour, so it is good. It's still quite expensive, so this 30ml cost me £70. It then has a 50ml at 99 and a 100ml at 132 so you can get other heliotrope perfumes for better price than that, which are heavier. On that basis, I'm gonna say I'm not sure that it's Soki approved because for me, value for money is like the most important thing or one of the most important things when it comes to a fragrance. But I do think this will do better. It's definitely a better fragrance. It's more interesting and it would be cute, you know, if like, your boyfriend has the K, the girl could have the Q and it would match and they both have this um, very unique like crown lid. So overall, I think it's okay basically. Um, let me know if you've tried this yet, what do you think? Did you try the original? How do you think it compares? And um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I do read all your comments. Um, but links will be down below so you can get this. Um, but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.